Welcome to Smoky CNC Woodworks. I'm Brian, and as y'all probably noticed, my Friday video came out on Saturday. Well, I'd already told somebody this week that this week has just been really hectic. We've had a lot of stuff going on. I actually had the video shot Thursday, and then Thursday evening, 7 o'clock-ish, I was grilling outside, and it thundered and lightning, so I thought, well, I didn't know it was even storming, so... Yanked everything off the grill, took it, put it in the oven. Bam, electricity went out. I thought, well, okay, maybe it'll come back on pretty quick. I still hadn't edited the video, so I could upload it, and I hadn't uploaded it, which usually takes five or six hours. So anyway, what had happened is a freak storm popped up uh, west of us, 81 mile an hour winds, about 15,000 people in this area lost power for at least the night and some of them for a couple of days. Ours fortunately came on early the next morning. Uh, I tried to upload it during the day and it just wasn't happening. We had, my wife's business, she uses a lot of internet and she has orders always going out. So I just held off and started uploading it late Thursday or Friday night and just put it out Saturday. So, I mean, that was my fault, uh, unforeseen. The damage from this 81 mile an hour wind was insane. We got tree branches all over the place. Fortunately, our house received minor damage. I have one shingle that peeled up. We have people that have lost barns, carports, full trees down, roofs totally destroyed, fences blown over. I mean, it was insane. It, but what can I say? Welcome to Oklahoma. <laughs> so today, what I am going to attempt is a thing called half tone. Half toning is where you take a photograph, and I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's gonna be a picture of me that I just pulled off my phone, and you try to cut little lines. You can do it with straight lines at an angle, you can do it with hash lines, or you can do it with dots. I don't believe my program does the dots, but this was a free download to Vetric. And so I downloaded it. I've been playing with it for a while, just programming and learning about it because I don't have all the settings down yet. I'm not 100% certain on how to do everything. And so I ordered the bits to do them with. I ordered about two months ago. And so they're coming from overseas and during all this, it's just taken a really long time to get here. But what it is is a 30 degree, 1 8 inch V-bit. So normally you see me using this. This is a 90 degree, half inch v-bit that is a 30 degree <laughs> one eighth inch v-bit look at the difference in size so i had to reprogram all this stuff in there's a lot of a learning curve on this particular project i'm going to do like i said it's the first time i've tried it hopefully this thing comes out great so let's go
stand next door real quick. I thought I'd blow the sawdust out of this thing before I threw paint on it. And so I started blowing the air out. I thought it'd be quick, but it's not. It's taking a little longer than I thought because of how tight the lines is. But I've blown about half of the sawdust out. And just look what it looks like now. I mean, that is pretty dang good considering this is my first shot at this. And I believe I'm going to go ahead and still throw some uh, paint on it. I'm not sure just because it looks like it's coming out pretty awesome. We'll just see. So I thought I'd give you some reference here. You can see my picture there. This is the picture I took it off of. That is just pretty amazing to me. I'm probably going to wait and not throw the paint to it. Simply because my wife is gone right now, I want her to see it before I throw paint to it in case that totally screws it up. The reason I think it might totally screw it up is these lines are so thin and the depth is so small i'm afraid when i sand it'll just wipe it away so i'm going to wait for that and i'm going to paint it and i'll let you know on friday's video to see what happens with it uh again lots of promise with this one i really like this i can see me doing a lot of this stuff down the road different photos i mean you could do scenery with this thing this this is amazing i think this is really cool so guys that was it like I said, I'm not going to throw paint on it until my wife gets home. She's doing a, uh, a women's church deal today. And whenever she gets home, I'm going to show this to her. This is amazing to me. I don't understand how it knew the depths. But you can see my face in there. That is just wild. I will zoom into it. And this is no paint. I think if I would have painted the board black and done this, it would have really popped i think i don't know probably something this is going to be a learning curve because i did this on plywood just because i didn't know how this was going to turn out i didn't know really how it worked so i'll probably try this on an actual solid piece of wood like uh pine or cedar uh you know possibly oak because there was a lot of chipping right here in the beard my ball cap and maybe that was by design because it sure looks cool that is wild to me. So this was just something new. I had been playing with it for a while. I've been excited to try it. And I finally got the bits in and thought, well, let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it's not a disaster. <laughs> so guys, if you haven't checked me out yet on Smoky Uncuffed, I'm on YouTube. I've got a website of the same name and I've have it in podcast. So just check it out, see what I've got going on over there. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet here, please do so. Sure appreciate it. So that'll be it for this week, guys. Well, that's not true. It'll be it for this video. I'll put another one out Friday. So it's almost it for this week. What can I say? So guys, that's it. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.